Hey everyone, Grammy G here. Welcome to my channel. Like, subscribe, and share if you can. Helps out the channel, gives an old person something to do. And today I'm going to be talking to you about preventing fruit flies. Like, forget about trapping them after you've got a gazillion of them invading your kitchen and your house. Why not prevent them to start with? So for me, it's all about prevention when I can prevent something, whether it's an illness, mm-hmm, or um, even a cleaning hack. Like, you know, why wait until your house gets so overwhelmingly dirty when you can prevent things like flies from happening, right? You know, because flies are icky. They're dirty. Icky, icky, icky. I, I don't like flies, you know. And that includes house flies too, because house flies are attracted to garbage and to smells. And even bigger animals, let's face it, you know, if you've got skunks and raccoons and you put a bag of garbage out the night before, you're just attracting trouble. Yeah, just saying, ooh, you know, yeah, don't wanna do that. So let's get back to the basics, the little tiny pests that we have, and it's those fruit flies. So fruit fly prevention. What can you do to prevent fruit flies from even getting in your home and invading your compost or your garbage? Well, here where we live, we have little compost bins. Now, I don't have mine available right now. I didn't want to show you, okay? But some people use ice cream containers, some people use cereal boxes, and that's fine. But understand that when you use a compost bin, it really should have a sealed lid on it. So the cereal box thing, not so great. Ice cream bucket, yeah, not too bad, like an ice cream container, uh, as long as it's got a sealed container. Here's another tip too. Keep your compost in your freezer. Mm-hmm, yeah, exactly. It's in a plastic container. Why not keep it in the freezer until it's time to put it in your big bin? Or for us, because we live in an apartment, we take ours downstairs and it goes into a huge bin downstairs. But again, it's got a nice lid on it. And I think they pick it up at least three times a week. So we actually don't have fruit flies in our building, which is really something I was concerned of. Uh, or with when we moved in here was how are they preventing fruit flies from invading this big garbage room and we have all these different areas in the garbage room of course and our garbage room is actually quite smell free it's it's awesome we actually call it our boutique because people will take things down to the garbage room and we have a little corner area where we can put things like a piece of furniture that people are getting rid of or there was a vacuum cleaner down there the other day um, I've gotten things from the boutique as well. So you know, um, yeah, so it's a nice little garbage room, actually a big garbage room. And um, like I say, it doesn't smell, they keep it very clean and we prevent the fruit flies from happening to start with. So in your home though, how do you prevent those fruit flies? So what I do is I use borax. Now borax can be used for so many different things, but good old borax in your compost bin. So what you need to do is first of all, clean your compost bin. And I'll talk to you about that in a second. You're gonna, I, I keep some of this in a jar under the kitchen sink, and that's what you need to do with a little scoop. And every once in a while, you just put a layer of it, a sprinkling of it in your compost bin, and that prevents fruit flies. This is the secret. This is the secret weapon right here. You also use this in your big bin for washing it out, but also layering in your big bin because sometimes you might not get compost uh, pickup for two weeks. Uh, I think ours at our house was every two weeks, so it was every other week. Now our big compost bin was huge, and you know you can put leaf litter in there, garden litter and stuff like that, as well as your food compost. And it would start getting stinky, you know, and I thought, uh, I can't handle that. And the fruit flies were coming and sometimes house flies and I'm like, and raccoons. Yeah, raccoons. Mm, yeah. One time I, I heard this awful thumping and I thought, what is that? What could it be? And I went to, of course, hubby wasn't home. All these things happen when hubby's not home, right? Yeah. And I went down to the basement and I went over to the basement door and I'm hearing this thumping and I'm thinking, oh my goodness, you know, is somebody trying to break in? What's going on? And there was a raccoon on top of the bin of the lid, on sitting on top of the lid, lifting the lid, trying to lift the lid as he was sitting on it. It was a junior raccoon. I figured he was about a teenage age, you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. that kind of explains that, doesn't it? Yeah. So anyway, I would layer my big bin and my little bin with borax. Worked like a charm. Seriously, this is what you need right here. But 
Also keep your bins clean. That's another big thing. So in between changing our bin liners, and we bought the commercial made bin liners, you know, some people used newspaper, or, you know, or flyers or whatever, and that's fine. But, you know, if they're leaking out and it's drippy, drippy and all that, ew, that's not so good. But we always, I, I think hubby always used to put a piece of paper towel at the bottom as well, and then maybe some newspaper and then put the bin liner in. And that just, again, gives it that layer of protection against smells and odors that attract those fruit flies. So um, make sure you wash your bin really well. And I used to wipe ours out to uh, the big bin and the little bin, or, or I do, I should say, with um, a piece of paper towel or a cloth, cleaning cloth, that is just damp with a little bit of bleach in it as well. Or I would spritz bleach around the bin inside and outside sometimes. Let it sit for a few minutes and then wipe it down and rinse it and dry it, air dry it. Uh, works again perfectly and it helps prevent those fruit flies, helps prevent those odors from building up in the plastic of the bin because that happens too. You can clean your bin and it still is smelly it's because the odors are building up and they're permeating through that that plastic you know go figure out how it binds to the, those smells bind to um, the the plastic eh? so and don't wait too long in between changing your liners now if you're using cereal boxes mm, cereal boxes don't seal so I, I personally wouldn't do that unless you could somehow seal your cereal box or keep it in the freezer there's your answer right there keep it in the freezer if you have room okay um, yeah, and use your borax. This is the number one weapon against fruit flies is your borax right here. This is it. So using that borax, just sprinkling a little bit, a layer by layer every time, you know, once a day, twice a day, whatever. Um, I think I did it once a day that, you know, for the big bin and the little bin, I think that's what I was doing was just, you know, that once a day. And, uh, and that will help prevent your fruit flies. Anyway, guys, hope this was helpful. Uh, share, like, and subscribe if you can. It really helps out the channel. And God bless.